Well, Oregon has been number two in the rankings the last four weeks now, and barring a monumental collapse against Oregon State this weekend, the likelihood the Ducks get bumped down pretty slim. However, some feel Oregon should actually be in the top spot. AJ Jacobson covers Oregon for Rivals.com. AJ, if you were to make a case for why the Ducks should be numero uno, what would that be? Well, the case I would make would be based upon their offense because, in my opinion, and having covered them all year, they're the best offense in the nation. And and the thing about this offense is it's slightly different than in years past. Uh, there was a question mark early whether or not this is going to be a physical type of team that could run the ball between the tackles and whatnot. And then early in the season, second game, they played Michigan State and I think proved to everyone and then several games since then that they can play the physical kind of ball that was the few times they've lost the last few years were those type of games they've lost and this year they've won those. So that would be my rationale for why they should be number one if they should be. Well, you pontificated quite nicely about the offense. However, if there's been any concern about this team at all, it's been about the defense. Outside of forced fumbles, the Ducks aren't ranked anywhere in the top 40 in any major defensive category. So what do you perhaps see that the numbers don't show? Well, the Oregon Ducks, the one thing about this defensive team is they don't have a glaring weakness. You look at the, the defensive front, you look at the linebackers, you look at the defensive backs, and, and there's no real opportunity for offenses to exploit them just wholesale. So that's what I would say. I'd say they're a very solid defense front to back, and they've got really good depth of young, talented players. So that'd be the case I'd make for this Oregon defense. AJ, we've been talking today about percentage chance a team makes the playoff. What's that number in your mind for Oregon? Here's what has to happen for them to make the playoff, Bonnie, and that is win the next two games. In my opinion, if they lose either one of the next two, which would be Oregon State this Saturday and then the Pac-12 championship game the next week, if they lose either one of those two, they're not going. So um, I'd say there's about a 90% chance that they will beat Oregon State this Saturday. I think there's a 70% chance they'll beat whoever comes from the Pac-12 South, whether it be Arizona, Arizona State, or UCLA. So uh, quick calculation here, 70%, 90%. 65%. Well, 63, we're going to round up to 65% chance that the Ducks are going to make it into college playoffs. You get bonus points for showing up with a prop. <laughs> <laughs> Civil War uh, between you know. Oregon and Oregon State, 8 o'clock Saturday night as the Ducks continue their run toward the playoff. AJ Jacobson from Rivals.com, thanks so much.